Hi guys, uh, in my previous video I discussed regarding the cloud service delivery models uh, which I was started with the ES that was the infrastructure as a service. So today in this video we will be seeing the second type of uh, service or the cloud service delivery model that is the PaaS platform as a service. So stay tuned to my channel to see what is the PaaS. This is Ranjiraj and you are streaming on the Steady Beast. So let's get started. So uh, first of all, uh, like I have said in the ES, it was completely like for the infrastructure. You will be giving an uh, or you'll be giving a quotation to the provider or the vendor that you have this much requirements and based upon that he will be uh, providing its uh, various different kinds of resources like network, storage, routers, modems, uh, processing power, utilization power, and etc. So that was completely regarding the infrastructure. Now in this, uh, you will be uh, providing a platform by the vendor. So the platform is basically and solely for developing various kinds of applications uh, that is required to run your uh, or to provide the service from that particular application. Now uh, in this solely uh, this platform this pass is uh, used by developers which they uh, used to write their different codes they run it and they test it and they deploy it over that uh, platform. So they can directly uh, deploy uh, these applications which they have written uh, or mount on this platform and next uh, this pass layer the main functionality of this or uh, why pass is better than ES is that pass extend its uh, ES layer or it abstracts the ES layer that was uh, the ES that is uh, that was the earlier one uh, in which it was providing the infrastructure so it removes the hassle of managing the individual uh, machines or virtual machines which were considered in the ES so in that you, uh, you would be giving a virtual machine and that uh, by using that virtual machine you would be accessing those resources so such kind of dependency is eliminated in PaaS since PaaS comes with ES so you just only have to uh, write uh, the code as well uh, the applications to deploy it you need not worry about the infrastructure how it will scale and all those issues so uh, in pass cloud funding platform the backend scalability is handled by the cloud service providers or the vendors and the end user does not have to worry about managing the infrastructure so all those uh, third party things or all the backend uh, uh, things concerned with this service is managed by the cloud service providers or the vendors in fact we can say and the infrastructure required to run these applications will be over the internet so you can directly access the resources from the internet and can use it deploy it you can run and you can test your applications and develop as well so uh, that was a brief idea or a brief summary regarding the platform as a service next you have got different kinds of vendors that would be providing pass so first is GAE that is the Google app engine Next we have the salesforce.com, next we have Windows Azure, Microsoft Windows Azure, then you have AppFog, OpenShift, Cloud Foundry which is from VMware. So these are the different kinds of vendors from which you can get the pass and talking about the advantages and disadvantages regarding the pass, uh, it is simplified development means you can uh, deploy any kind of programming language or you can start writing any kind of applications into that. Uh, in a Ruby, Python, Perl, JavaScript, HTML, blah blah blah, uh, any of this coding languages which you like to uh, write. Next is a lower risk. Lower risk means that you just have to, uh, like, you just have the programming logic and the designing and all. All the backend scalability and the infrastructure is handled completely by the vendors. So, uh, that is a major advantage from this pass that you need not uh, worry about how much storage or how much scalable would be my application be going on so that is uh, one major advantage next is predefined business functionality uh, means since it comes from different vendors these different vendors uh, would have different kinds of uh, designing and coding rules for that so that you cannot just change but you have to follow those norms so that is a very good practice following to that pertaining to that particular vendor so that would be very easy an instant community. Instant community is a, a big advantage of this pass is that if you get stuck at any of this uh, coding or logical levels or if you need any kinds of APIs you just have to contact those particular vendors which are responsible for uh, holding your application. So you can uh, at any time you can query those applications and get results. So that is a main main big advantage of this pass. Next is scalability. As I have told you 
since all the backend scalability is managed uh, by the vendors, you need not uh, worry about the scalability. So that all uh, comes into the advantages of PaaS. Next, talking about the disadvantages is that a vendor lock-in would be there. Vendor lock-in means that if you are using Google App Engine and you have developed your applications, then those applications would be uh, pertaining or will be binding to the rules that uh, Google has laid out. Whereas if you move those applications over another vendor and you try to deploy uh, there, uh, it may not work because uh, the other vendors, different kinds of vendors have different uh, logics and different designing rules. So that would be a uh, one big uh, issue uh, when you go over different kinds of vendors. Next is data privacy. Like I've said in the types of cloud, also public, private, uh, you may not be sure whether your data is secure or not. So that kind of one data issue or insecurity is still persist in the past. Next is uh, integration with the rest of the system applications. Now, for example, if you develop an Android application over the past and if you want to integrate with uh, other components, like you have the camera, you have the, uh, what you can say, the Microsoft Excel documents and all in the mobile app, then to integrate uh, with those other applications, it would be a quite difficult task as compared to past since those applications might be using different kinds of API, different program language, different syntaxes. So it might not uh, like integrate with this uh, which you have developed. So that was all about the PaaS, uh, which is a cloud service delivery model in the cloud computing. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.